Sunday Monday, Tuesday. We pray. I talked about explosion last time. In the country. So if you come and see explosion of fire, you will saw it, but you put it on the set process again. But in the same country, in the same country. This is like, I don't know. This wind is this fun. What manner of wind is this? That blow in almost the whole country. And when this wind began to blow, it not caused a sea to leave its own environment. And when storm brought a sea, there is no ship there. I did not see any ship down that sea and that never survived. Those who survive are people of God. But this is a part of an Asian country like a Chinese country. Towards India. Towards what? India. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, pray. Pray. This uh, tropical cyclone, Winston, a Category 5 cyclone that smashed into these islands, but apparently either because it veered a little bit away from some of the major population centers or because of the uh, preparedness of the people of Fiji, uh, fortunately thus far, we, we do not have uh, reports of major fatalities. One person confirmed dead thus far, and of course the government is still trying to get the extent of the damage now. You have Australia and New Zealand both offering to send military aircraft to help with the reconnaissance efforts and trying to get the the sense of how much the damage is. We do have reports of dozens of houses destroyed, of large-scale electricity blackouts, some flooding as well. In one case, a hospital, its roof was actually blown off by this storm. It had uh, records of sustained winds of 230 kilometers per hour gusting up to 325 kilometers per hour so some experts are calling this the most powerful tropical cyclone that the southern hemisphere has ever seen now the government imposed a curfew a mandatory curfew on fiji that will be lifted at 5 30 in the morning on monday schools are going to be closed for another week but government workers are going to go back to school and the universities are going to be open again on monday so it does seem that Fiji has dodged a bullet here. Certainly, Natalie. and with just one death as well, this very powerful storm. What about uh, international travel? Is that uh, still affected, do we know? Virgin uh, Australia, that airline, has announced that it's going to be flights back to normal on Monday. So it does seem like the recovery effort, at least for, for some of these important transportation links, and this is really how you judge the power and the damage called by, caused by a storm. If, if the international airports can be open again this quickly, that's a good sign for Fiji, which will still have a lot of hard work to do uh, fixing some of this damage to infrastructure. And and still trying to assess some of the scale of the damage out on some of the more remote islands. Between Tuesday, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, down to Thursday, you pray. I'm looking at the print cloud cra crash.
Where? How? Two places. These people that are carrying plane, that is in a bicycle that they carry. Eh? Even though you carry bicycle and you carry person for the back. Make it not say not be you create the not be you create the person. You have to look, look for how to take care of the person's life. You only know about yourself that you can drive bicycle. You are not driving speed. Eh? And you don't remember that you are carrying souls. Some drivers, the way they drive human beings. They don't care. And so many people are hating Okada. Okada man is the one that wants to kill you and you insult you wait there for back. Now they insult another person. Small Tara airplane carrying 23 passengers on board flying from Pokhara to Jansom in Nepal has crashed. The plane lost contact with the air traffic control 10 minutes after it took off from Pokhara in the morning. The debris of the ill-fated plane was recovered from a jungle in Soli Ghopti Bhir in Myagdi district. Nepalese aviation minister Ananda Pokhrel has also confirmed the crash. According to the reports, a Chinese, a Kuwaiti and two infants were on board. However, search is on for the black box. New Street Desk. Searchers recover the bodies of 23 people killed in a plane crash in Nepal. The Tara airplane crashed in a mountainous area in northern Nepal on Wednesday, February 24th. As of Thursday, aviation officials do not yet know the cause of the crash, but they say that wind and fog were likely responsible. The plane's black box has been recovered. The plane was scheduled for a 19-minute flight from Pokhara, a popular tourist destination, to Jomsom, where many routes into the Himalayas begin. Officials on the ground lost contact after eight minutes in the air. Officials have identified four of the 23 dead. The plane was carrying two foreign nationals, one from China and the other from Kuwait. Tara Air said in a statement on its website, quote, We cannot undo the pain and grief they feel, but we can share the burden of dealing with this tragedy. For Newsbeat Social, I'm Cambry Caldwell. Between Tuesday, oh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, down to Thursday, you pray. I'm looking at the print cl cr crash. Where? How? Two places. Hello and welcome. You're listening to One India News and I'm Pooja Sachdeva. A small plane carrying 11 people crashed today in mountainous western Nepal in the country's second deadly plane accident this week. Officials said that at least one person has died according to the initial reports. He said that the plane belonging to Kashta Mandap Airlines appeared to have technical trouble and attempted to land on a farmer's field near the top of a mountain. It crashed near Tilka village, about 400 kilometers northwest of the capital Kathmandu, according to the officials. The plane, which was carrying nine passengers and two crew members, was en route from Nepal Ganj town to the mountain village of Jumla. The weather was clear along the route. The crash came two days after another plane crashed in bad weather in central Nepal, killing 23 passengers on board. 